Welcome back to Mel Like Art. This is Mickey, and today I have another unboxing. <laughs> the best thing about these particular boxes are I just never remember what I buy. When I go to um, this particular online store, I just hurry up and I order something and completely forget what I had got. There is the pillow pack. Generously put in here. Now here's something I have been meaning to try. These are um, gessoed panels. And these are just the try versions. Um, and it takes acrylics and oils, drawing sticks, crayons, pencils, color pencils, all types of pastels. And it's got this textured surface. And if you had um, one of the a watercolor ground, you could actually paint a watercolor on this too. Watercolor ground is a medium that you just paint onto a surface and you can paint on it instantly. So. There's two medium textures. Here's an ultra smooth. So let's see. So they're basically for oils and acrylics. And this is resist grip coarse. So this is very, very sandy feeling. This would be really good for pastels, I would say but they're mainly for oils. And then, there are just some plain, which I would use some gesso to, or birch wood painting panels. Um, um, it's, yeah, you have to prime these first. So, um, I got that actually for a really good price, that set, and then, some. Let's just put this all. I got some paper. And again, with the wine voucher. I really understand it. So, these are oils. And they're student grade oils that I wanted to try out. So, here's their Lucas brand. So they can't be bad. Lucas is a good brand. Oop. So we have yellow ochre, old marine, English red, which is a PR101 universal color for all sorts of natural mixes. Oop. Oopsie. And then I have a magenta, which is a primary color. And look at this little guy. This is a lunar blue that I've been wanting to try from Daniel Smith. He's supposed to be a secret, so I'm supposed to put him aside. <laughs> Mainly it's oil stuff I'm doing today. So I want to see what it looks like. I know I have mainly watercolors, but this is really thick. Smells good too. It smells like um, good earthy paint, not chemically paint. And when it's a student brand, they're usually AP, which means they're non-toxic. So this come from Germany. Fine artist oil. Tried to get all sing single pigments. Yeah, they smell good. So this is a PR122, PR101, PB29, and a PY42. So be, these would be really nice for mixing and, and mainly for portraits. It's kind of what I'm getting them for. So I can't wait to try these. Let me put them on my oil easel. Here's another block I've been meaning to try. It's cold press. Um, and this is the 
the monster heavyweight stuff. So these are 300 pound, uh, 640 GSM each page. And you think you only get 10 pages? Yeah, 10 sheets of this stuff. So massively great. And you could use oils on these as well because they're so thick. You just have to prime the surface or not. I don't know, this is really nice surface. Gorgeous paper. And here's another, I think these are just loose sheets, eight by 10. Yeah, I think these are just loose sheets. Um, where's my exacto knife? Okay. Yeah, just nice loose sheets of watercolor paper. And this stuff is awesome. It's the cotton um, fluid paper. Fluid 100 is what you want to look for. It's really affordable. And they're um, comparable to the uh, Canson Mop Ball. Um, let's see, I have one over here. They're, they're comparable to this brand, which is, these are awesome pages. I try to save this one. I don't know why, just, I don't want to go through it. I've got one little painting in there right now. So, here's my all heart haul for today. I don't really want to try anything on these yet. Um, I kind of want to wait for another day so I can add it on to this video. But um, I definitely want to try this paper out at some point. I want to do like a paper compilation because I have this um, cheaper brand of the fluid paper. And I want to try. Okay, well thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next one. Hi there, this is Mickey um, with Melamic Art. Um, I wanted to actually open these up and kind of do, nobody has done this, I don't think, but I wanna kind of do a swatch test for oils. And um, I do have some medium here that will help sort of draw it out so that we can see the pigmentation. And I also have these little paint sample things that are, I think will be really good to try on a neutral surface. Maybe this, maybe this one. So here is a neutral surface and these are Lucas Studio paint, oil paints. And I just want to kind of see how they do on, let's see, I'm going to need to raise this up a little bit. Okay. I just want to check them out because, honestly, I don't think anybody has done this. And don't you want to kind of see? I mean, any oil painter, don't you want to see the, the granulation of them or the smoothness? Or how they look on a neutral surface? Or how they mix with a little bit of oil? I do. So, I've noticed right away that uh, these student grade oils have a little bit less, they're a little bit of less oil in them, which, I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing because you're getting a higher volume of pigmentation suspended, you know, in whichever binder is in here, which is... Let's see, not really saying, but as far as I remember on the set website, this is refined linseed oil in here. So let me just go on to the next color. This is super pigmented though for student grade. I don't know, I got these for like on sale I don't know, three dollars or so, three fifty each, and these are thirty-seven mil tubes. 
And I'm just like, this is really good quality. This is the Ultramarine PB Pigmentation PB29. Gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Uh, I don't really consider that a student grade. I mean, these are all really amazing. Okay, so this PY3, which is a lemon yellow, definitely has some... I don't need that much. Get back in there! It says, nope, I'm out now. So I'm gonna have to get my... I'm gonna have to get my palette out of the freezer and add this to it. I do notice that this... Um, the metal used for this kind of does taint the color a little bit. Like, I've seen it gets a little gray. So that's something to look for. But these lids are amazing. They're nice and large. So here's that gray bit there. I do notice that this probably could have been milled a little bit more but um, now I'm taking that back because now that I've done this, it looks extremely smooth and buttery. And I didn't even add any oil to that one. So here's a yellow ochre. I'm gonna be, gonna be careful squeezing this one. This is really thick. Kind of like a peanut butter. Nice, gorgeous yellow ochre. And you'll notice that every pigment that I selected on purpose is all single pigment. So you can mix the, you know, the mix ratio is don't go over three different pigments. And I've made sure that I got enough, got the colors with just single pigments so that I can do mixing. And really doing that because I would want to mix um, skin tones. So this is the PR 101, which is a I've heard it. I've read it as it's ink called English red with Lucas, but it's a Venetian red or um, what else can it be? Is the Terra Rosa sometimes PR 101 is. In a watercolor, it's Terra Rosa with M. Graham. So, I would, you should probably see what it looks like. Which is literally the same color. And M. Graham uses honey, so their watercolors are very nice and rich and buttery. So, I mean, I have some nice mixing colors, so let's... Let's try it. This mixes. I don't have any titanium white out right now, but that's okay. So we'll get something similar to a sap green here. I still had some of that on there. And so let's see what we get for... So this is uh, magenta, which is a primary red. I'm gonna need a lot more yellow to brighten that up. It's pretty translucent. So if I added a white to this, this would be an instant flesh tone. Tone. And that PR one and one is just gonna take over anything because. It's so opaque and pigmented. So let's see. Let's see how these two do. You get a beautiful purple with that. Gorgeous. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think of these Lucas Studio paints? I think they're pretty amazing. Ah, 
I just told myself not to do that and I did it again. That Pier 101. So it's fun. Yeah, whenever you get some oils, do you guys check them out and see how they mix? I do. I like to mess around with different mixes. Because, number one, you know, sometimes oils are intimidating. And if you take the intimidation out of it, then you're more likely to use them. So, okay, well, thanks for joining me for this wild color swatching of oils. <laughs> Um, if you want to know what they smell like, they smell really good. This linseed oil is actually really good. It's, um, by Gamblin. This is just another kind of medium that I'm not going to use. And, um, if you want a nice, um, lean, uh, oil, mineral, uh, like a mineral spirit kind of thing, the Scamsol. It doesn't smell like anything. And I recommend it for your lean to fat ratio from lean to fat. So, get you some Scamsol. Okay, well thanks for joining me. And um thought it'd be just fun to play around with oils. See you soon. <laughs>